this we understood these nanomaterials are highly dynamic and their properties are likely to change uh, through their life cycle. So that requires multiple uh, revisions, also sometimes changing equipment. First of all, we want to collect information about how nanomaterials are being used at the moment and be able to propose suitable risk assessment tools. Secondly, uh, we collect reference information about tools uh, in, in terms of measurement devices that are useful for actually characterizing emissions and characterizing nanomaterials that are produced accidentally. And finally, it's also about the training and internal communication uh, towards the, the workforce. You need to be able to compare these predicted environmental concentrations of nanomaterials to the proper effect thresholds. Start considering safety when you design the new nanomaterial because they are designed by engineers like our buildings by architects on, on the desk. The first step, meaning the creation the ideation of the materials is completely free. Recycling is very important. How would it fit and what effect it would have for the environment? In my experience, uh, industry needs practical approaches to deal with the uh, nanomaterial risk assessment. The worker exposure is very important. The measurement, the direct measurement from the semiconductor industry point of view, and also the communication with the stakeholders. The first step we would have to take would be literally identifying who would be those EHS professionals that we effectively would have to basically get them trained in nanomaterials. So the life cycle approach is for sure definitely is the right approach. We need to go further, having more information, more risk definitions, let's say, in order for new, for new material, which again you are using on daily basis inside your process. The whole industry is using our technology and progressing from this. The whole effort is expected to help industrialize Europe again and in this way promote the well-being, promote employment and technological progress all over Europe. It's not easy, it's not simple, it needs science, it needs technology. That's why we are here for it.